We, the jury, find the defendant, Stephen Matthews, guilty of sexual assault, physically helpless. Yeah, today, Stephen Matthews, a former Denver cardiologist accused of drugging and raping 11 women who he met on dating apps, was convicted on 35 of 38 counts. And during the trial, the prosecution said Matthews would meet the women on dating apps, take them out, then take them to his house, where he offered them a drink and drugged them before assaulting them. The assaults took place between 2019 and 2023. And for the first time tonight, we're hearing from one of those jurors who decided his fate. Fox 31's Gabby Easterwood joining us now with that exclusive interview. Gabby. Yeah, guys, well, that jury member says that the evidence against Matthews was just extremely damning, including victims text worried that they had been drugged, as well as videos and pictures that he took of those victims without their consent. A visibly emotional response from Stephen Matthews as the guilty verdict was read. We, the jury, find the defendant, Stephen Matthews, guilty. A decision that didn't come lightly for the jury, including Laura Richardson. We all felt very good about our decisions. Um, we wanted to make sure that we had backup for it and that we could explain and, you know, just know that we had done the right thing. Richardson says there was mountains of evidence, including pictures and videos Matthews took without the victim's consent and emotional texts from the victims. A lot of the evidence that we went by for the reporting um, was the um, victims reporting to their family members, to their friends shortly afterwards of oh my God, I think I was drugged. Oh my God, I don't know what happened. Um, text to the defendant saying, I don't remember what happened last night. Did we have sex? Um, can you please fill in some gaps? Another key factor for the jury was the sheer number of victims telling very chillingly similar stories. If one person came to you and said, you know, something was going on outside that you didn't believe, it would be like, eh, you know, but two people come, have the same story, three people come. And if 11 people come, and have the same story. It's, it is very hard to discount. Richardson and her fellow jurors found Matthews guilty on all counts besides 23 through 25, simply due to lack of secondary evidence. She hopes this shows just how seriously they took each individual charge. We didn't take any of the decisions lightly. I think we did a, our due diligence. Now, Matthews remains in jail tonight, and his sentence is set for October 25th, where each victim will have a chance to speak if they wish. Live in studio, Gabby Easterwood, Fox 31.